Brandon from Seattle Humane is joining us this morning. Welcome to Spirit 105.3. Yeah, thanks so much for having me, Erica. Okay, Brandon, my heart is melting all over the floor, not just because of the temps we've had the past few days, but seeing all of our Seahawks on Instagram with little kittens and puppies in their hands and on their shoulders. We need more of this. What was that all about? Oh, yeah. Um, cats don't really know the difference between a football player and a cat tree. Um, so they've been, <laughs> they, they loved being able to climb up on them, get a view of the entire uh, training camp field. It was really great for us to kind of reunite with the Seahawks. They came by um, our campus back in May for their uh, day of service, which was great. They made blankets and snuffle mats for our pets. The actual players got a bit distracted with the kitten cuddle booth we provided for them. Um, so no judgment on the quality of the blankets or the snuffle mats. They still enjoyed them. Oh, my, to think of football players creating such sweet, tender things. I mean, you said snuffle mats. is just wonderful. Oh, yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, when I mean, we had to take them all on a tour. Uh, so they got to play with puppies, uh, big dogs, little dogs, just uh, everything under the sun. Um, oh. Not technically under the sun. We put the awning up, you know. <laughs> And Brandon, our Hawks are going to be reuniting again with all of those adorable kittens and puppies for training camp Pet Rescue Day. What's happening at 145? Oh, boy, we're going to have ourselves a little puppy cuddle booth that's actually going to be available for the team and the fans to come on out and get their cuddles in. Um, you know, I know it can get a little bit rough out there uh, during training, so it's nice to kind of have a, a little break and a little cuddle, you know. Yes. We expect that uh, some of the puppies will probably get there a little early, maybe run some drills with some of the uh, <laughs> the team, kind of learn a little bit of the fundamentals, you know, a little light tackling um, on their part um, <laughs> because they are puppies. They haven't been fully trained yet. Oh, it's going to be such a fun day. Brandon, we know pets are good for football players and families for all of us. What are some of the benefits of bringing a cat or a dog into your home and making them part of the family? Because I'll tell you what, they really do change your life for the better. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, it's been proven that uh, people who own pets uh, tend to live a little bit longer, you know, even though their hearts are technically fuller, you know, they uh, give them a great excuse, especially with uh, dogs, to get outside, go on walks, do a lot more uh, exploring out in nature. You know, it's uh, just the amount of companionship they offer, especially during these trying times, especially during the pandemic. A lot of people were uh, looking for pets to adopt to keep them a little sane um, while they uh, quarantined and stayed home, working from home. Yeah, it's been amazing. And basically, the adoption interest has not uh, gone down since then. That is so good to hear. Well, this is going to be so great. Training Camp Pet Rescue Day happening today. Brandon from Seattle Humane, thank you for being with us and catching the spirit. Oh, thanks so much for having me.